Okay, in this part of the video, we're going to go over some of the rules where we simplify exponential expressions. So we're going to start with the product rule. So the product rule you're going to write in your notes is when you are multiplying with like powers, so our bases are the same, you can simplify those by adding the exponents. So let's show why that is. So our first problem, a squared times a to the third. Let, let's expand this to see what's really going on. So a squared is we're multiplying two factors of a, and then we're multiplying another three factors of a. So all together, we have a to the fifth. So all I did is the rule says is simply add exponents when multiplying, and this is why. Now let's do um, two squared times two to the fourth. We could evaluate each and then put it all together, but let's simplify first. So two squared is two times two, and then we're gonna multiply another, um, we're gonna do four more factors of two, multiply, and remember repeated multiplication. So all together we have six factors of two. Now let's look at a few more. We have m to the fourth times m to the negative seven. So let's just not expand and let's just apply the rule. So we're gonna add four and negative seven and we get negative three. Now remember, we can't leave a negative exponent. So we're gonna move the factor of m to the negative third to that denominator, making our exponent positive, And then we need to put a one in the numerator. Our se second example, we have three b squared times six b to the fifth. You simply are just going to multiply 3 times 6 like you've always done. And now we're going to apply the product rule because we have like bases. <clears throat> excuse me. We have a base of B. And we're going to add 2 Bs and 5 Bs gives us 7 Bs being multiplied. Our third example, we have H to the third times H to the negative 2 times H to the 4. So we have a base of H. And we're going to add 3 and negative 2 and 4. So 3 and 4 gives me 7, minus 2 gives me 5. Our last example here, we have 2 times 4. Our coefficient is 8. Our base is going to be W. And we're going to have 3 plus negative 5 plus 4. So I have 3 and 4 is 7, minus 5 gives me a power of 2. Now, you pause the video, and when we come back, we will go over these together. Okay, we have 9 to the power of 2. I'm going to go ahead and evaluate that since it's simple. So we get 81. If you left it 9 squared, that's totally fine because we are just simplifying here, not evaluating. Our next problem, we have a factor of a, b, and another a, b. So we have a base of a. And we have 2 plus negative 3 gives me negative 1. We have a base of B, and we have negative 1 plus 1, which gives us 0. So I always like to write in my understood ones on exponents that's not showing, just so I don't forget it. Okay, let's simplify this now. We can't leave a negative exponent. We're going to reciprocate it. We know B to the 0 is 1. So our final answer, 1 over A. Number three, we have two times three is six. We have a base of x. We have negative three plus two. We have negative one. The negative one is only attached to the x and not the six. So we have six over x to the positive one. Number four, we have five times three gives us 15. Our base is g and h. You can go ahead and write those if you want. I have a understood one here and here. So my g, I have 1 plus negative 4, that's negative 3. I have negative 2 plus 1, and it's negative 1. So the 15 has an understood positive 1 exponent, but g and h will reciprocate to the denominator. Now let's look at the quotient rule. The quotient rule is going to be the inverse of the product rule because multiplication and division are inverses. So this time we're going to subtract the top exponent minus the bottom exponent of expressions that have the same bases. So let's look to see why. So let's just practice on this one. We're going to expand this one and then we will just apply the, the quotient rule. So 
x to the seventh is really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven divided by x times x times x. So you can see anything divided by itself gives you a one, or we do. We usually say cancel. So now you can see we're left with x to the power of four. So all I did is subtract seven minus three to gives us four. That is what the rule says. This just shows why. So if you ever forget, you can expand it and cancel out. Okay, let's take a look at k to the negative four and k squared. Now I know we can't leave the negative here, but let's just apply the rule first. So when we're doing the quotient rule, guys, you just start with the numerator and put your base. It is k. Now, I am always going to write this out when I have some negatives going on. So it's negative 4 minus 2, which gives us negative 6. And now we can clear up the negative on the exponent, and we have 1 over k to the positive 6. Okay, let's take a look at 12 times a to the third over three times a to the fifth. So let's just simply simplify the coefficients first when we get four. 12 over three is four. Then we have a as our base, and we're gonna have three minus five gives me negative two. The negative two is only on the a, so we have four over a squared, okay? 18 w to the fifth divided by 24 w to the negative third. We're simply going to simplify this fraction. They each have a factor of six, so that gives us three over four. And when we evaluate the, the variables, we're gonna start with our base in the numerator and then apply the subtraction. So w is our base and we have five minus be careful here, negative three, which is really eight. That's why I don't move things around because sometimes the exponent comes out to be a positive, okay? So if you wanna move things first, you can, but I just am going to apply the quotient rule as is. Okay, now you pause the video and try these when we come back. Like always, we will go over them together. Okay, so we're just going to apply the quotient rule by subtracting. So I have h, negative 2 minus 6, gives me negative 8, and this gives me 1 over h to the positive 8. Number 2, I'm just going to go ahead and write my bases, a, b. So I have 1 minus negative 3, this gives me 4. Then I have 5 minus negative one, this gives me positive six. So everybody's positive and they're gonna remain where they are. Number three, we're gonna divide eight divided by two, which is four. I have a base of G and a base of K. Now let's apply the quotient rule. Two minus negative four gives me six for the G base. And then I have negative one minus one, that gives me negative two. So the negative two is attached to the k, so we will end up with 4g to the sixth over k squared. And our last one, once that's got bumped over a little bit, we may use this space if we need to. 18 over 12, we're going to divide by a factor of six, that gives us three over two. We have a base y and a base z. We have two minus negative three, that gives us five on the y, and then our z exponent is five minus four, that gives us one, I'm not gonna write it in. Now we're gonna come back and do a power to a power.